My name is Allison. I work for Pikes Peak Library District. And this is Small Cat. She's going to help us today do some painting. Let's hope she doesn't step in the paint and get those little paw prints everywhere. Today we're going to do some artwork inspired by Eric Carl. He is a picture book author illustrator um, and just a wonderful artist that you may know. Have you read The Very Hungry Caterpillar? He wrote that. Um, and he's written dozens and dozens and dozens of other books. So today we're going to be inspired by how he creates his art by painting tissue paper, letting it dry, and then tearing it up into pieces to add onto um, cardboard shapes. Eventually we'll make a mobile out of it. Okay, watch out for that cattail. So, I'm just going to lay out a fresh piece of tissue paper and I've already poured my paints into my tray. I've added a little bit of water just so they're more fluid and kind of fill up the space on my tissue paper a little better. Um, and I think I'm going to do blue on this tissue paper. So I'm just going to fill up my tissue paper with big strokes of paint. So this is what my tissue paper looks like right now. It's pretty damp, so I'm going to let that dry. Another one that I have already done, this one's purple and white. And I'm going to keep going until I use up the paint in my on my tray. So one thing you can do while you're waiting for your paint or your watercolor to dry is you can mark out the shapes that you want to make out of your cardboard. So I cut out my shapes from the cardboard. So once you've got your tissue paper painted, um, I have four big sheets all painted and I think that should be enough for the project I'm doing. I am going to start tearing my tissue paper into pieces. So when you're ready to put the tissue paper on, you're just going to paint the side that has your markers on it, marker lines on it, with your glue, your paintable glue. And now that you have sticky on the top, you're going to take whatever colors you want to use, and you can tear up the piece if you want it smaller, and then you're just going to stick it right on top. So this doesn't look like a moon at all, but I've got the outline underneath, so I can just trim the extra tissue paper off the sides. And you can have help for this part from your grown-up. They might be able to do this part. You can stick everything on and they can trim it up for you. And now that looks more like a moon, doesn't it? And then we're just going to take our Mod Podge brush again and we're just going to delicately brush right on top just to seal it up get all those little bits of tissue paper down and then you're gonna let them dry they'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes to dry and once they're done we'll make our mobile okay so I wrapped my yarn around my two dowels and uh, left a long string and tied a knot. It's pretty sturdy. You don't have to use two, you can use one. So like I said, you could use a coat hanger and just hang your shapes from the coat hanger, or you could use a stick or a branch that you have, maybe found um, on a walk or in your yard. I've also strung all of my shapes, uh, and you can do this whatever way is easiest. So I tied a knot in the back. So I've got all my shapes here, and so the last step is to just tie the other ends of the yarn to my dowels. Okay guys, this is the finished product. Actually, one of my moons fell off. So <laughs> once you hang your shapes, um, it is quite literally a balancing act. So experiment moving the yarn um, farther away from the center 
closer to the center. Uh, depending on how heavy each of your pieces are, how long the string is that they're hanging from, in order to make that mobile level, you'll want to move some of them closer in and farther out. And then you have to figure out where to put your new mobile. Great job, guys. Uh, can't wait to see you again soon on another art project.